Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2010 Leisure Travel Vans free flight with 47,007 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2010 Leisure Travel Vans free flight. As usual, I'm going to start in the front work my way towards the rear. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are happy to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you have and make sure you are fully comfortable with your new coach. So this is not our usual offering. We don't get as many of these leisure travels here. Uh, but this is a very, very nice specimen. We've got this hard surface flooring throughout. Up in the front here, these are rugs. So we've got vinyl flooring up front beneath the rugs. Makes it easy to clean up after your trip. Got a stash spot here in the door. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a screen here, the latch to open, that's behind this triangle. Got a curtain here that you can pull across for privacy. We've got your coach battery disconnect that disconnects the coach battery to prevent parasitic draw. That will also disconnect the charging systems, which are the alternator while you drive, the shore power plug-in, or the generator. Got some light switches here, water heater on off that ignites itself, water pump on off that pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower, or toilet. Got your levels test here for your propane, your coach battery, your fresh uh, water, your black water and gray. Uh, the water tanks are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust those. Got about 74 and a half inches of headroom here in this coach. About 73 here at these lights. We got a fantastic fan in the center. This runs on the coach battery. That can act like an attic fan at night. If you open up the windows, it'll bring the cool outside air in. Can also be an exhaust fan if you're cooking or taking a shower. These nice big mirrored doors here to access the bathroom. It's not much of a step up and in. Gonna pull this curtain around you in here and do all your business here. Nice big basin that everything's gonna drain into. You got a little clothesline you can pull across there. So this is nice to have a wet bath like this on a straight body van. So this would be a similar build to a Road Trek 190 or a Pleasure Way Lexor. And it's nice to have that bathroom. Nice aluminum backsplash. A three burner propane cooktop. Get your sink here. We've got a three way Dometic fridge freezer. So, freezer up top. The rest of this is a refrigerator. It's a three way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug in or your generator, DC, meaning the coach battery, or propane gas. It's all controlled via the controls on the front of the unit. I recommend leaving that in the auto setting. It will do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Got a little bit of staining in the bottom of that drawer. An obnoxious gas detector there along the floor. A 110 plug in. Got your fuse panel there. It's got your 110 breakers, your AC breakers, and your 12 volt DC fuses. The counter flip out here. This is the microwave. This runs on shore power or generator only. A nice closet here. That is your inverter inside the closet. 
which is powered here. Turn this on and off. Recommend leaving this off when you're not using it. Otherwise it will drain power from the coach battery even if the disconnect is off. This runs some of your plugs back here by the TV so you can use your coach battery to power AC things like your TV or perhaps charge a laptop, cell phone, things like that. Got the start stop switch for the Onan generator that has seven hours, fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs that runs off of the fuel tank. That will run till about a quarter tank and then it will stop running to prevent you from stranding yourself. Got a cool cat AC heat pump. The heat pump will work down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. We've got your TV antenna here. You can control where that's aiming right there. This is the thermostat that controls the uh, cool cat AC heat pump and also the propane furnace. Got a table mount here. The table and leg is up behind the driver's seat. So we've got windows that open on the left and right here with screens on the lower portion. You got a power sofa in the rear. You control that via the switch here. So essentially you're gonna push the switch, run the sofa down. We've got two belts here in the rear. So a total of four belts in this unit. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now with the sofa down so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The two separate sleepers measure approximately 23 inches wide or east-west and 73 inches long or north-south on the driver's side and just a little shorter at 71 inches long on the passenger side. The table fills in the gap to make the big bed which measures approximately 71 to 73 inches north-south or front to back and 71 inches east-west or side to side. There is storage beneath the couch in the rear. You can open the rear doors of the coach and perhaps put skis or something longer inside of here. Got your furnace ducts. You can Velcro this up to kind of make it easier to keep this open if you'd like to use it that way. The rear windows here do open, however, we do not have screens on those. And here beneath this couch cushion, we've got the rest of your ProWatt SW inverter, and we've also got your coach battery beneath that. Here we are sitting in the rear of the coach. What did the Buddhist say to the hot dog vendor? Make me one with everything. So we've got this radio head unit back here. This has Bluetooth, USB in, auxiliary in. Uh, it says it's Pandora, satellite radio ready, CD player. This plays through the speakers here in the rear of the coach. Back here as well. So the TV also plays through there via this auxiliary cable. You can plug your iPhone in, whatever you like there. Got about a 21 inch TV here with a built in DVD player. This is on a swivel arm, so you can move this around if you like. We've also got a 110 plug here. So if you'd like to plug things in there while you're sleeping or use that for your kitchen plug, perhaps. Got your manuals there in the bag. Got a nice deep storage bay here. So all in all, we've got a really nice specimen here. Very clean inside and out. Nice hard surface flooring. Got very nice upholstery. Feels very plush and richly appointed in here. I'm gonna call this in a nine to a nine and a half out of 10. Got a couple scratches on the outside, as you'd expect. But again, very, very nice. Those are strictly cosmetic things. This RV's gone through our full inspection process. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale. This one's ready to hit the highway. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, power driver's seat, CD player. The upholstery is in excellent condition. A little glove box there. Driver's seat is also in fantastic condition. There's no cigarette lighter in here, but I'm not noticing any burns, no stains. No funny smells, I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Got a privacy curtain that pulls around the front to provide privacy while you're parked. And also remember that this is actually vinyl up here in the front, so this is just a rug you can pull up. It makes this very easy to clean up after your trip. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2010 Leisure Travel Vans Free Flight. This RV measures 20 feet, six inches bumper to bumper. The tires have 2017 date codes. 
This leisure travel is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 47,007 miles. A really clean exterior on this one. The back of the refrigerator, two 110 outlets, back of your water heater. little minor dings but that is very minor that's your engine exhaust and your generator exhaust the generator is located up underneath where the spare tire would normally be around the back we've got a tow package got your propane tank here you can get all the way through to the front of the coach here so this fabric here can lift up if you want to put snow skis something longer in here Storage bins in the door. A curtain you can pull across for privacy. We've got the air conditioner, cool cat coming out of the top there. Get your spare tire here on the rear door. A little tiny ding there. A couple little scratches there. Got the vent for the coach battery. That's access from the inside of the coach. That's an AGM battery. Got your store power cord here. Got your city water fill in the back of this cabinet. We've got a valve here. You can fill the onboard freshwater tank from the city water. It's actually the only way to fill that on this unit. So you'll direct that with the valve in the rear of that compartment. Got a storage bay. Got your sewer drains. Got your gray and your black, so you'll pull your black first, then your gray, and it's gonna come out of this tube. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Couple of small dings on the hood. Really good looking unit. This camper van is ready to hit the highway.